This is Kevin Irwin, Steve Irwin's less successful brother, and you're listening to Episodics of the Blowhole. <laughs> Who are you, mate? <laughs> I'm Kevin Irwin. Who's the real Kevin Irwin? And who's trying to bang Terry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate. I think that I'm Kevin Irwin. You're not the real Kevin Irwin. I'm the real Kevin Irwin. Are you taking a piss, mate? <laughs> Man, poor Steve Irwin, that guy. Bless he, his heart. He went out by his stingray. Bless his heart. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> sting, a barb, a barb to the fucking Bless aorta. his heart. <laughs> Jesus. His kids are yeah. fucking classy as hell, though. They are. Bindi Irwin's a babe now. She's a babe, and, and then his, his son, son is always on Jimmy Kind of Fallon. a babe as well, actually. Uh, he's he's, he's a good-looking kid. He's yeah. a good-looking yeah. kid. <laughs> Yeah. How long until they Fuck, go on? The, you remember there was a Crocodile Hunter movie. He had a movie. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. I was, totally forgot about it. I'm old that. enough to remember the controversy Great. when he had his newborn son close to an alligator. Remember that? Mm. Mm. Like, he, he he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm at my zoo. I own a fucking zoo. And I'm going to dangle my newborn right by this fucking crocodile. It's okay. He, she's gorgeous. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what was worse? Her motherly instincts will kick in at any moment. <laughs> let's uh, let's go to um, what was the what was the worst example of poor parenting? Was it Steve Irwin, who is a animal expert, holding his son by a crocodile, or was it Michael Jackson dangling the baby over the balcony? I think uh, I, I'm going to go honest. better better parents. Steve Irwin, hands let's down. Be honest, par- Michael talk- Jackson isolated. didn't want that baby to die, though. He needed him for later. Oh, gross! Oh, oh. gross! Can we just bring back how Michael Jackson's a fucking whack job? <laughs> yeah, we did this in, well, yeah, in the last like episode. Just, it was a couple just of a week ago, actually. Yeah, I'm not watching that fucking isolated incident though. If your kid is now in one of their arms. Are you putting your kid in Steve Irwin's arms by the crocodile, or are you putting it in uh, Wacko Jacko's Steve arms? Steve Irwin. The, yeah. Because I'm going Irwin. I'm going oh, Irwin. Yeah, yeah, I think it's unanimous. Steve yeah. Irwin. yeah. Steve, Irwin's got, Steve Irwin's got way more care for every living being on the fucking planet. Seems but like here's a genuinely other, good guy, But too. here's yeah, the other thing. totally. Here's the other thing. Now we get into a situation, Steve Irwin trips with your kid. Like, there's a lot of things that could go wrong, be. but... Then you Jack- get to sue Steve Irwin, but man. Jackson drops your kid with all those people. The chance that the kid's going to get caught. I, I think you have. I, don't a, think I, so. I think you have a higher mm-hmm. rate of possible survival. That happened somewhere in Europe, and there were a bunch of paparazzi guys below yeah. him, and they're not. They're not going to catch the kid. They're yeah, going to take true. a picture of the kid splatting. Right. Oh, yeah. What sells Jesus. more newspapers? That splat a kid because you know, they've all get. That's the worst because they've all got their cameras set to aperture to get a clear shot when really you need it on shutter speed uh, to really catch the impact. Like you know, yeah. Mark's a shutter yeah, bug. I'm, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm a photography uh enthusiast. Yeah. And enthusiast. E- even yeah. when you put your kid in the hands of a pedophile. That, well, you know, you got to think of the right settings. <laughs> um yeah. usually you're playing the odds at that point like yeah. what's the white what's the yeah. white balance of is there a, terrible is there, skin? what is the white balance? How do you set the white balance to take a Michael Jackson photo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> you you set it on dark and then slowly go white. <laughs> What's the ghost setting on a camera? Yeah. <laughs> well, Steve Irwin is about as white as she gets, too. Actually, she did, still, he, did he um did he wear sunscreen or something? Because he never really was like golden tan. No, I think that's I think just Australians, a, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're just gorgeous. They're just you're, you're either white or leather, and that's it. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I guess he had that contrast with the khaki outfit khaki shorts outfit all the time you know what yeah. you, you know what you can't think, make fun of them for that either because it's practical i think that is a good yeah. i think one of us should go full khaki cargo shorts and button down shirt like all the time first of yeah. all i think tim's gonna come back to the podcast like that yeah he's got his kid now well, he gave up it, on the track a, suit pretty quickly so I, I, well I was, who wouldn't i'm about to pick that up by the way because i went to track acad- suit? <laughs> i went to academy the other day man i well shit i'm I'm already pretty close to it. Like, you guys are seeing me right now in a t-shirt, but literally for every day for the past, like, month or so, I've been wearing a Baja hoodie during the day. It's just practical. And my fucking pants, you know? My sweatpants. My joggers. Your harem pants. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, why not move to something that's comfortable, practical, What's that? and also looks stylish? What's yeah. that quote? Is like, uh, athletic wear is great for not working out in. It's just really comfortable. Yeah. 
Yeah, it gives me the, it it gives me the option to either join, you know, Run DMC, uh, Limp yeah. Biscuit, there's uh, some Eastern wear Eastern thing. Block gang, or Planet Fitness. Yeah, I could start doing trance music, you know. Yeah, at, a, at like a Slavic bar, driving a, driving a a Lada. Yeah, a Peugeot. <laughs> yeah, Peugeot. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I like this idea. <laughs> This is cold. You're going to you're gonna have to like smoke a, cigarettes, though. I, would have yeah. to, I am going to have to pick up smoking. I'm also going to have to make a couple lines in my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely got to get a gold chain. And, and I you have probably... to drink drink vodka straight from the plastic bottle. Oh, yeah. See, that's you plastic, might, you might not glass. You can't do um, glass. Uh-uh, can't be that fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm putting this together in my pop head. Off I'm really thinking choices. about this. Yeah. Pop off vodka. Somehow, Can- somehow come Ooh. up with some old school Adidas runners. Uh, Kangol hat backwards. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, I saw one out in good. the wild, a Kangol hat. And <laughs> when I was I was nudging Andrea like a lunatic, like, look at it. It's a fucking Kangol hat. Look mm. at that. This guy's wearing Boy. it unironically. Look at this. Look at this Kango in the yeah. wild. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Look, he's sweating, sweating profusely. Crikey. Buying a lot of soda. Oh, blimey. Kango hat. Yeah. How many Mountain Dew six packs does he have on the side <laughs> of his car? <cot? laughs> a Kango hat and like a, a, an oversized South Pole button down shirt. Oh, you know? my God. South that Pole. A, yeah. If did, it, you know, did you not it's see winter South time. Pole? It's it's oh, winter no, time. I know what's yeah. It's winter time. If it would have been summertime, he probably would have had the uh, the wash rag on his neck. Who are we talking about now? Are we just painting? We are bouncing like... around stereotypes. <laughs> I know, sure. that I know who we're talking about. Yeah. For everyone okay, at I home, know who I'm talking about. <laughs> for everyone at home, we started at Steve Irwin's this khaki is, yeah. pants. I actually, this guy, this guy that I'm talking about was my one of my basketball coaches when I played pee wee oh, league. Oh, nice. He always nice. had the rag on his on the back of his neck. Like, no. What is that in What's rural Arkansas? Right is that a cum rag? What's going on? Oh, here? Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> I carry it around in case I feel like beating off. <laughs> <laughs> now I do mean, your drills, <laughs> motherfucker. If he's got the Adidas pants, he can whip them off real fast. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna pull yeah, a Louis. Breaker. I'm gonna pull a Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a gym. There's no potted plants around. You don't have anyway. a choice, motherfucker. There's gonna be distractions in the audience. You gotta deal with that. <laughs> you bet you're you're panning the audience. Everyone's cheering. There's your coach just beating off, staring at you, making and uh, making eye contact. <laughs> speaking of, uh, speaking of- <laughs> can you imagine if you were playing high school sports and you saw your coach in the middle of a game just? Fiercely beaten off. Of <laughs> like, does this mean I'm doing good? Or <laughs> I guess we're winning. <laughs> I played high school hockey, so I'm just envisioning my coach with like a blanket. Just yeah. so you see the movement of the blanket. <laughs> He's angry one time. Five minutes later, you scan it again. He's just smiling and nodding. <laughs> <while he's done. laughs> Coach, what'd you do with your hockey stick? You did Don't good. Worry about it. <laughs> you did good, Hendrix. You did good. Uh, hey, you see my rag anywhere? I got to do some cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. It's on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Which neck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just oh, spray man. that out on the ice, and the Zamboni machine will come sweep it up. <laughs> <laughs> See, this podcast is going to be a shit show. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, speaking of uh, um, fun grocery stores uh, stories, uh, I was behind a lady today, and she was buying two Miller Lite Tall Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Just and two. a big bag of greens, fresh greens. That's a person yeah. who's on like, their way. That's a person who's word. on their way to full-blown alcoholism because you go from the two tall boys because that's what's getting you there. You know, you did like you've you've got enough money to to get when you buy the two, two tall Milwaukee's boys, best. Yeah, when you yeah. buy the two tall boys, you are trying to catch a quick buzz. Yeah. That's for what sure. you're doing. Um, and that eventually turns into a pint of McCormick vodka at the drive-thru liquor store. Like, it moves from the two Which tall boys Which I didn't boys even know to- this. Did you know this? At the at mm. some liquor stores, because I was behind someone the other day, and they bought, like, a like a pint of something. Yeah. Some kind of cheap whiskey or whatever. Anyway, the, then they were like, hey, 
can we get some ice to go with that? She scooped them oh, up yeah. two plastic cups of ice, and they were hitting the road, Jack. Are when I worked at like, dude, she didn't have a problem with that? No, dude. That, when they I had, she had a nice chest with ice and cups. When I worked, was part of the gig. Right there. When I worked at the liquor no. store part-time. Yes. Dude, when I worked at the liquor store part-time, had guy, there was a guy who came through uh, just about every other day. Um, real old dude had a big truck. Um, you could, you could tell he was still working though. Like he was in his uh-huh. late sixties and still a working guy, real nice truck, but he would come through every other day, every two days. And he would order a pint of crown black and we would keep Ooh, it in the freezer okay. for him, but he'd get that and he'd ask for a cup of ice and he would do it right in the fucking window, Just pour it in open there. it up, pour it in there, drive off every time. That's a, like advanced alcoholism. I oh yeah. So. But the thing, th- this guy still was still crown black though. So you're get- not totally at rock bottom. I well, mean, that's, I know that yeah, that's what blew stuff, my mind. He's sure. getting a pint of it. He's paying it. It was like $27 for a fucking pint oh. of crown black. He's coming I through. I mean, if he's, if he's drinking it on the way home, he's definitely killing that pint. Yeah, that that, night, that right, night or that right. weekend. Yeah, yeah. No, he's killing it that. But day. then there it's was a, that's a, a, day, that's that, a daily pint. That's a guy Dude. who rotates liquor stores too. You, I was just thinking. Yeah, that. you yeah. can't let people know that because he he definitely had the presentation of a man who's got some money and like I'm doing all right. Like I'm ordering Crown Black, but it's like yeah, but motherfucker, you're drinking it before you get out of the parking lot and you're yeah. coming through every two days or so. So yeah, he was probably hitting up others. But the the worst though, when I was working there, there were there was this couple that would come in frumpy as fuck, just like <laughs> gross, like dirt people. And they worked at Arby's and um, <laughs> they were, I mean, they were very nice, but like presentation oh, wise, they just smelled before. like beef. Dude, they would, it was, it was between McCormick, uh, McCormick vodka, a pint of McCormick vodka or a pint of of I pop want to say off or pop whatever. off or something, yeah. But they it like it depended on the day of the uh, the week they were coming in, um, how many pennies they had in their pocket because one was a few cents more than the other, and they were talking about the taste compared between the two. I'm like, it's all fucking rubbing alcohol. It's all awful. It's all yeah. it's all just the worst shit. Like, what are you guys talking about? You're gonna right. drink all that shit while you're making roast beef sandwiches. Like, you don't give a shit. You're gonna mix that <laughs> stuff with you know with Coke anyway. So what does it matter? Like, oh, God, yeah. But they would come. They were very nice, but uh, definitely had a problem. Yeah, though. Dude, they walked in and it was just like I don't want to eat at Arby's anymore. I, you know what the thing is? Like, you know, you know er, I even like, said that to him too. That? And the guy was, I was like, I like Arby's, and he's like, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> he was a manager there. He's like, don't eat there. It's like when you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was young like that, working at fast food. I had the exact same like thought process. Yeah. I'm like, why are you people eating here? Right. Yeah. It's like it's I don't, terrible. I worked at Arby's. I, I, yeah. I, I yeah. am. I'm. I am confused about people who drink like that. Yeah. I mean, I obviously I love to get a good buzz on. Right. Uh, thank you, Nick, for that enthusiastic <laughs> support. Right. We know. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but but yeah. like I'm in no hurry. Like when I can, one Tim leaves, one has to take his place. <laughs> <laughs> I can Drink definitely and wait. Pick up a power tool. One of us <laughs> until one I get to us. the party. You know, yeah. I don't. I yeah. don't have to start at the liquor store. Yeah. Like I can wait until I get either to my house or to whoever's house I'm going to. Yeah. 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 Like I don't have. That's such a that's the fun when you all now see I will um I don't give a shit like I've uh, look we've all drank and drive we've all done dumb stuff yeah, but like well, there have been times I mean, yeah there have been times and that here's was after the party after the party but also there have been times when I show up to a party late and while I'm heading there I may open a beer and drink it on the way you know I don't do this anymore because well, I'm, older. I'm talking about social when I was, anxiety you were trying to get lubed up I was but then but you're also trying to catch up with people so it's yeah, like I'm gonna fair. have one. Plus, you know, you make an entrance with an open beer. People are like, oh, look at this, look this guy. guy. He's yeah, ready cool to go. Yeah. So cool. Ready to go. And then talk shit as soon as you go to the bathroom. Yeah. This fucking douchebag <laughs> driving with an open yeah. beer. Who okay. invited him? Did you know that he was drinking when he got here? That means he was drinking <laughs> that in the car on the way here. Now, if I'm not driving, I'll get wasted. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, you're the most responsible out of all of us. I, think, sure. I, I, I sure. think I I was... I had my license, so I was 16. Yeah, 16 or 17. Yeah. Where I was just, I was as crazy that time where Mark was in his 20s, where I was just getting yeah. drunk whenever I could. I'd drink whatever I, and I drove, meat. I drove drunk yeah. once to where I don't know how I got home, mm-hmm. where 
I was very drunk. I was weaving to my best of ability to try to keep straight. Yeah. And I said to myself, if I get home, I will never drive drunk ever again. Yeah. And that was that. And you have it. Well, no, I have it because because I know people have gotten DUIs and it fucks up your life for a while. That's yeah. true. It does. Yeah. And it's like eh, it's. Just I mean, not DUI worth it. is DUI is getting lucky as far as consequences. The DWI, go, you know, yeah. like, the, but you're getting lucky because the one thing. Dude, the one thing that has kept me as I've gotten older from not uh, driving drunk is I I know this sounds kind of fucked up, but it's not that I worry about possibly killing someone. Um, it's that I worry about what would happen to me after I killed someone and I go to prison for like the idea of prison scares me more than actually hmm. The guilt of killing someone. I know that hmm. sounds fucked up, but shit, I watched Oz when I was young, so that shit stuck with me. It's, right. it's, nah, prison's, it's, prison's no joke. It's yeah. in my craw, man. Like I can't go up. I can't. I, so I'm, for for you, the um, the idea of prison is the scariest thing that keeps me from not the, the, driving. The drunk. risk of the punishment. Yes, is the one absolutely, that does it for you. absolutely. Yeah. Because the likelihood of me actually killing someone pretty low. You know, I yeah, get that. Pretty low. More than likely, you drive drunk. You're going to wrap your car around a tree, kill yourself, something like that. Yourself. Like, yeah, exactly. Break and that me- doesn't really a scare me. Or something. That, that didn't really scare me. It's like it's showing up to prison and having that realization of fuck, I'm in here for 12 years or something. Like that just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That Have scares you, the piss out of me, man. Here's a question: it Scares for you guys. the piss out of me. Have you ever gotten into a car with somebody driving who was drunk? You knew they were drunk, yeah. and then immediately regretted that decision. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, honestly, I think I, if if someone was so drunk that I would have noticed that they were drunk, I was probably more drunk. Yeah, and so I was yeah. probably like, yeah, yeah, probably better that I'm in the passenger seat. Yeah, there, there was one time where I I was a hundred percent sure that we were gonna crash. Same oh. here. He was I've driving been, yep. fast and reckless, and like, see, I've been people. I've been with people like I know. A I guy lost who my buzz. Dr- drives, like that. He drives poorly sober. Yeah, like, scares the shit out of me, and I'm like. Put your phone down. We do, the song yeah. is not important. Right, right. Like you know, whatever. He's picking songs. He's not texting. But I'm just like, dude, not important. This yeah. is not important. It's a mountain road. First like, off, whatever. make a playlist yeah. and then just put yeah, the just fucking put playlist on. on. Yeah. No, he was one of those guys. You got to hear this song or whatever. But it's just like, okay, let's just not do that. So Stone Cold Sober is bad enough. And then yeah. and then on the way back, then we hadn't been drinking that much. But then he wanted to light a bowl. Too. Oh and my like, god! Ooh, and that's like, like rolling like, probable cause. I was like, can we not just like, can we not just like get as get there as quickly as possible? Well, you know what ends up right, right. Like that, nightmare over with. You've got a you've got with the with when he wants to smoke after that, you've got a ninety percent chance that it's going to get worse and a ten percent chance the driving is going to get better. You know, like, yeah, because <laughs> there's some yeah, people it's just because like, you're you're slowing down exactly. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, it was awful. I, I the same thing happened to me. I had a buddy who. Um, he was over here from uh, Uganda, and um, I, he was a good friend of African mine. Fella. And, yeah, and uh, hmm. we were hanging out. I uh, hadn't seen him in about a year or so, and he gave me a call, and he's like, hey, Mark, I'm back in town. Let's hang out. You know, like, and I was like, oh, cool, man. Yeah, so it was <laughs> racist. Let me get <laughs> some of that aid. Let me get some of that ashwagandha to cure my AIDS. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Can we go now you g- went too far. <laughs> like, can we go hunt a gazelle? <laughs> no, you, you motherfuckers. Sorry, it's so yeah. funny. It's U- Uganda is where they go in Book of Mormon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, and, and the joke is that everyone has AIDS. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, well, anyway, he is... Um, You're going to see that. He was, a, he was a good guy, good friend. So we're hanging out, and um, we end up... Uh, it, it's me and him and John, actually. Um, Smith? It, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we end up at the... That narrows it down. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> shout out to a new podcast listener. <laughs> and so we ended up at the at the strip club in Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Perfect. Arkansas. Nice. So, a town that no Terrible one has heard place. of at a strip club. Oh, yeah. Um, it was called Peaches at the time. I was going to say and, Peaches, uh, yeah. Yeah, and so anyway, we end up uh, uh, we end up shutting the place down. And, word. Uh, yeah, it was 5 a.m., and my buddy... Waiting around back for all the ladies to come out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, you don't want... No. All gross. <laughs> like, What's up? You're rookie, going there. rookie mistake to go after a stripper, first of all. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but anyway, we And those out. are the bottom of the barrel strippers. Yeah. Um, my buddy, I almost said his name. I don't want to, but my buddy, um, he had he had driven us, and by the time we were done, he was gone drunk, gone. 
And um, me and John were both drunk as well. And I was like, man, give me the keys. Like, I know that I am better than you. Like, it was just a fact. Like, right. I was like, I know that I'm better than you. I haven't had a drink in a couple hours. Sure. Still not, probably not good, but better. Definitely better than him. He just continued the whole time. And he's like, man, fuck this. You drive. I, I'll stay. I'll get a taxi or something. Like, he just wasn't going to go. And I'm like. Man, I can't that's leave. Not, that's I can't what I'm take, saying. I know. I'm like, I can't take his car and then have him. Like, he didn't even. He's not a citizen. <laughs> like, what's it like? I'm just right, leaving. Right. I'm just leaving an African guy in the ice is going to strip swoop club. down on you know, peaches like, here yeah. in Jacksonville. <laughs> there's just a drunk Ugandan in Jacksonville, Arkansas, without a car and keys. There's, and there's like, some. Red, it, like, there's some red for, flags. For, <laughs> for perhaps the first time ever. Yeah. So, <laughs> So against my better judgment, <laughs> against, against my better judgment, I Jacksonville was like, PD shows up. Well, this is a new one. Yeah, I know. I was like, all right, man, uh, you can drive. And so John and I hopped in the car, and John was like, the whole time he's like, no, 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 we cannot, do, no, we cannot do this. And I was like, we'll get there, man. It's only a twenty-five minute drive. You're like, just we'll trying do, to we'll rationalize it. it. That's what I was doing. We got on the highway, dude. He was all over the place. Oh, we no. got so close to a semi that you could reach out and touch it, and I'm like, we. I like I just remember turning up the music and I was like I was sitting in the back John was just like just completely white in the face and um I remember like touching his shoulders and like just rubbing his shoulders and I was like listen man we're going to die so just yeah. like enjoy what's happening right now <laughs> and I, and I meant that with no sarcasm at all oh, because yeah. we were all over the road I'm like we are we're 100% going to die like it's going to happen in the next 20 minutes because no, he could not yeah he well in uganda it. it's pretty much just kind of go for it i think so yeah well there's one road in africa it was yeah, it was point. it was one of the scary it was just terrible. one of the scariest moments yeah you guys what the fuck man <laughs> yeah, you're just being casually racist while you tell your story. <laughs> anyway yeah i've been there though i know that feeling you're just like this is the, this was the worst decision i ever made in my life yeah. and it's the last decision that I'll well ever make you know in my that's life. that that it, that that's how I got my DWI. Yeah, is I was, I was the more sober one of the two of us. Yeah, uh, I was. I was. I'd taken my friend's girlfriend out to. Uh, we met people down at the yeah, bar, yeah. Or whatever. But you know, I picked her up and we went down there together. And uh, and then she was a drunken mess, like mm -hmm. puked in the garbage can on the street, and yep. blah blah blah. And then we were driving home, and she was crying because she was a wreck. <laughs> Of it course, was awful because that's what that's yeah, what right. she's uh, crying because she's young, embarrassed that she cried that she puked. Oh yeah, blah, 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 it's blah, the blah. cycle. It's that like continues. shut the fuck up, right? Yeah. So I was like trying to like be and I wasn't paying attention to my speed, and that's why I got pulled over because I was going too fast. You should have doubled down and been like, "Oh my god, I've never puked in my entire fucking life. What is wrong with you? Disgusting." Okay, Tim. I'm not really sure what. Oh yeah, that's right. Tim didn't throw up. That's his anyway. claim to fame, which yeah, I don't I believe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's so you yeah, got pulled. So, it you were driving too fast. Driving too fast. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously we all smelled like booze and vomit. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like, I think the vomit I know is which way is a, this is going. Yeah, yeah. I think the vomit yeah, is more. He of a was like, "All right, sign. let's get out of the car." Uh, that of course, sucks. of course. Then she obviously started bawling oh, again, yeah. and I was yeah. like, "Dude, she's a mess." Like, <clears throat> and I was like, "I was like, I get what you got to do to me, but can yeah. we not like?" get her yeah. make sure she gets home somehow i was like can you take her home he's like oh, i gotta take you in and i'm like <sighs> you don't have to i made it this far to, yeah. asshole like, well, he's a cop you know? halfway there you made the conscious career decision to be an asshole yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he was a fucking yeah. douchebag and then when i saw him in court i like went up to him and like shook his hand and i was like no hard feelings you're just doing your job whatever and he was mm -hmm. like yeah, whatever. Fuck you. I was like, oh, all right, come pig. on, man. Like, I'm the you know one that I mean? got in trouble, and I'm trying and I'm, to just. I'm be just saying. I'm saying, like, like, I'm not mad at you. And I'm, and then you know, and then like two years later, my house got broken into, and the cops didn't give a fuck. Yeah, you know, and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck these guys. That's like, what. Yeah. I, that's you what it pays to not be a good. That, yeah. That's when it pays to not be a good person. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But then, yeah, but I here's the thing: kick him in the balls. In but the then you room. run, right, then right. you run the risk if you're an asshole to him. Then he can be like, "Well, he we got this license and... plate," and he can just give it to his buddies and be like, "Let's just always look for this car," you know? Yeah. Like, the, which I happens? Would not, I would. I was gonna say I would not be surprised if in in smaller towns, 
Um, even in Little Rock, because Little Rock is actually Little Rock is so clickish. Small just in general, enough. it's small. So yeah, small, you know, yeah. so many people. It's it's weird how many people are tangentially sort of like mingling in similar circles and whatnot. Yeah. But anyway, I would not be surprised if the cops have a list of cars that they're just like, we're gonna pull these motherfuckers over whenever. Uh, because one of them mouthed off to Jerry, you know, like yeah. a week ago. So for the next three months, let's just always look for this car. Let's always pull it over. Let's always give him shit. I, I wouldn't be and surprised. It's not, if that and happens. it's not Olivia Jade or or yeah. the other. Yeah. M- oh no, Lachlan girl. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> They're not, not fucking with those girls. <laughs> no, it kind of pisses me off. Oh no, those people have hush money. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Like the Walton family where she basically like killed somebody and then they covered that shit up. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's the same thing with McAfee too. McAfee's John, a fucking yeah. nut job. <laughs> that guy. Did you watch that documentary? <laughs> oh, and uh I watched part of it. I didn't finish it. And the it's, Huckabees, the Huckabees. Well, they're assholes. The Huckabee Huckabee's son killed that dog at summer camp or oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot like about a, that. Like That's hung a, it up ooh, hung yeah. it up by his legs and flayed it or yeah. some shit like that. Yeah. yeah, that was fucked. Ooh, really? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of all the everyone people, forgets about that. Yeah. So every time you every time you see Sarah Huckabee Sanders up there filling your ears with shit, just think yeah. that her brother is a psychopath. That's because I I largely forget about Mike Huckabee until he's like they quote a Twitter until he randomly, I mean, like, until he uh, randomly decides to run for office again, which he never wins. Which he's just, dude, guy. stop trying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. that guy's such a good old boy, like hometown yeah. schmuck. That he left Arkansas so he wouldn't have to pay any income tax. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which, oh, yeah. Really working oh, for the people there. We're forgetting about the great Dick. Duggar family, too. Yeah, we mentioned... that was I was gonna, It was in oh, one of yeah. our episodes. Yeah, yeah I was going to yeah, tack we'll that on that uh, at the end there. Like, it's, you know, it's people who have this, uh, who have this outward appearance. Diddle your sister it all together, or whatever. But, oh, yeah. Our oldest son is raping people. So No, or not, guess, not uh, people. His yeah. own family. Yeah. yeah. No, he was just rubbing her booty. I don't think he actually raped her. Yeah. I feel like it's been boiled down to that, but it started with like he was rubbing her vagina or something. Uh, well, booty, vagina, whatever. We should Thanks throw in a, we should throw in a disclaimer here that anything that we are tossing out here, unless it has actually been proven, is it's just alleged. alleged and, yeah. we'd, and we don't know. In, so. in our opinions, yes, that's what the internet has said. It's not like allegedly. Gonna, it's yeah. not like we're going to get big enough right now that it's going to get on anyone's radar. But just in case, I'm sure, you know what? Back, you know, honestly, I'm pretty sure Mike Huckabee has absolutely nothing to do but listen to like local podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, he's just looking for shit, man. I guarantee if you started a fried chicken podcast or fried oh, food shit. podcast, Mike Huckabee would be all over that one. Right, Mike. If you he listen- totally cured himself of his type two diabetes. Yeah. So <laughs> honestly, Mike, if you're listening and you want to come on. Yeah, I don't know. We'll give Why you an opportunity not? to defend yourself lie. for Mike, sure. Mike Huckabee, Mike Huckabee seems like uh, seems like he'd be a good grandpa, though. You know, I wouldn't mind having Mike Huckabee as a grandpa. He just seems very. He seems like outside of politics, he'd be a very like nurturing. Come on, let's sit down. Let's eat some ice cream together. You know, let's sit out wow. on the patio. Yeah. Let's. Uh, he just eat has some that ice vibe cream about him. You know, yeah. Just he plays I mean, that's bass all guitar. you'd ever do is you just go over there. I play bass <laughs> guitar. I gotta there hit go. this guy up. There you go. Bass off, me and Mike Huckabee. Ooh, you know, I want to take his bass. I gotta see off. if that. I I gotta see if that guy uh, knows how to slap a slap a four stringer. Do you slap? You know? Yeah, the bass. You got that double. Slap bass. You got that double bass technique, Mike. Can Ooh. you? There, I don't think he can. There was a uh, the triumph. He's a one note at a time. Kind no, of he's fella. a yeah. He's a real Tejano music guy. He's like boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. boom. Did boom, you see the uh, boom, boom, Triumph boom, boom, boom. Baptist? So, <laughs> Triumph yeah. the insult, yeah. insult comic dog, like hit the election. Uh, I can't speak. Blah. Election special. Did you ever see that? No. They I had don't a whole thing so. like right before uh, Huckabee bowed out. The erection like, special. The, the erection. erection <laughs> special. <laughs> um, where he was clearly losing, and yeah, r- like Robert Smigel's like. It can only really benefit you. So he goes, okay. So they all went to a hall, and he basically roasted. Mike Huckabee for like nice. 20 <laughs> minutes, but it was fucking hilarious. He's like, how I can't do a triumph. He's yeah. like, how quick would you change the currency to San, like dollar pancakes? San- <laughs> and, Mike's, <laughs> and Mike Huckabee's he's, he's like, Oh, he's going along with the joke. He's yeah. like, 
You know what? He goes immediately triumphed. Immediately. Because <laughs> he didn't have anything else to say. Was he going right. to defensive? That's not going to look yeah. good either. I think like the week after that he bowed out. But it, it was, you know, he's clearly having fun time with it. Well, that, so, has right. been the, that has been the one thing out of all the other politicians that I remember is that Mike Huckabee seemed to be the one that didn't engage too much in mudslinging. He always like, people made fun of him and he... No, he's he just did, kind of an idiot. He's not mean. He j- yeah, he just no. kind of... Yeah, really he's like Jeb Bush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeb Bush. He's, he's not mean. He's, he's just like, dull. He's, I will, uh, he's like your three-year-old three year old nephew who dresses up as in a suit. Jeb it's Bush cute. Was, you know what I mean? Jeb like, Bush was like one of the greatest things of the 2016 and they, and they tried election. To, and they tried, to make, they, they tried to make Jeb exciting by putting an exclamation point at the uh, end of it. Like, Jeb! Yeah. It was like, that's not happening. It was <laughs> at, as exciting as a warm glass of milk. <laughs> when, that, <laughs> when, that, when that video came out where he goes... <laughs> Please clap. I was like, this is over. <laughs> like, you're done. <laughs> oh, man. Guy. Yeah, that guy. On, who, on Hulu. Zero they, charisma. They still zero have those specials. Guy. Go watch them. They're fucking hysterical. And, that's, and, that's, and that is why I think, uh, not to get too political, but that yeah, is yeah. why Trump won. Because oh, yeah. he was definitely the most charismatic of yeah. all of that whole crew. That's the thing. People they were get all a, boobs. People get all... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, people get all all up in arms because they're like, he just he doesn't conduct himself the decorum of the president and the <laughs> candor and all this. And it's like, okay, let's just for a second, for a second, pretend he's not president. Let's remove that title away and objectively look at how this man just roasts motherfuckers. He like, demands, just, he demands yeah. attention. He's good. Yeah. Crooked Hillary, Sleepy Joe, Little Marco, <laughs> yeah. Lion Ted, d- Low Energy b- uh, Jeb. Like, just, yeah. like, do you remember yeah. for like two and, weeks? And ben, and ben Carson's over there falling asleep during <laughs> the debate. His eyes are half closed. It's like, is this guy stoned or just bored? Like, what's going I on love, here? I oh love, like, especially like SNL, Still. who would roast <laughs> fucking Ben Carson, and they were all like, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. He's just you like, know. It's, it's nodding it around. Keenan yeah. was doing it. Yeah. Uh, when he started, when, when Trump started talking shit about Biden, though, and calling him Sleepy Joe, it's just like <laughs> Sleepy Joe doesn't know what he's talking about. It was like Sleepy Joe. What the fuck? I feel like his insults kind of peaked with the Republicans, though. Oh, like, yeah. Crooked sure. Hillary was good. It was but definitely better when he's calling Lion Ted. Lion Ted. Lion Ted. Little I just, Marco. I, I, I remember. And Lion Ted had to, has had has then had to come <laughs> yeah. in defense of Trump. And it's like, he called you Lying Ted. No. Like, <laughs> and you have to officially respond to that. <laughs> no, I'm not Lying Ted. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what makes Trump shit talking good? It's because it's so bad and he doesn't back down from it. It's just yeah. he owns it's it. childish yeah. shit and he knows that it's simple and he's like, yeah, fuck it. You know, like, yeah. you're maniac Mark. I'm just going to, yeah. You're I'm a just, maniac. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little he, bit of like, alliteration <laughs> here and then. He yeah. almost, he almost, I'm sure if we comb through his tweets, we could probably find. In not so many words, him saying, I am rubber and you are glue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like he, I'm sure he's almost said something like that. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm way better than you because I've got. Oh, he did. He did. He did just this past week talking shit about the 737 and how his 757 oh, yeah. is better. Oh, yeah. And he's like, trust me. I know planes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. Do you, what? <laughs> yeah. There's so much that happens a week, but do you remember he was talking about like Tim Apple? Yes, he but it was Tim it was Cook, his Tim mis- Apple. It's, it was his mistake, <laughs> and then like somehow he twisted his own words, and then like he was calling himself out on making the mistake. He's like, he's like, this is my this is what, this is what I call him. We're, we're buddies. I call him Tim Apple. And it's like See, you know, yeah. what? This is the, no. like this is the you know the disconnect too because when I talked to Lauren about this, she's like. He's just terrible. He's just, and I'm like, look, just he's terrible on I'm, a funny I'm, I'm, level. I'm, though. Exactly. I'm like, just rem- like we're here. It, ha- yeah. it we're here. It's not going anywhere. I'm like, so just <laughs> just appreciate the the terrible humor that it is. And once you do, the it becomes of it. It, yes. Then it becomes hilarious. I remember it's like, like a it's a meme every week. Seriously, yes. something new. Yes. Seriously, three years ago, I um, somehow it came across my Facebook that um, one of my favorite comedians, Doug Stanhope, was coming through Hot Springs, and it was a Friday night, and I was going to have to work the next day. So I took. I think Chris put that show on, by the way. I took my sleeping bag, 
uh, I drove down to Hot Springs, went to the show, and then drove down to work. And I literally like camped out at work because I was like, Hot Springs is going to be closer to yeah. just go work and then just stay there yeah. and wake up in the, on Saturday morning. So I went, and this was 2016. And he basically, he was like, I cannot wait for the material that this motherfucker will give yeah. me. He's like, he's like, do I want him to be president as far as policies? No. Yeah. Do I want him to be president because of my professional career? You're goddamn right. Oh, yeah. Every yeah. comedian was like that. Everyone was th- was thinking yeah. that. And, but, yeah. and, yeah, and they, they've all, of course, it's been a boondoggle <laughs> for comedians. Was Stanhope at... Just like, it just looks so easy. I know we're going a little over. It's fine. I um, Was Stanhope at the time, was he um, dressed normal or had he moved to the leisure suit? No, he had look. a leisure suit on. Yeah, that's yeah. His, uh, yeah, that's a look that works for him. Good comedian. Yeah, he, oh, no, yeah. he one goes, of the best. He goes mm. he goes to the the thrift store in the town. Bixby? Oh, that's so cool. Bisbee. No, in, Bisbee. in the town that he's in. Oh, really? He, and he'll his, buy a suit? The, what he wears that night, he bought that day. <laughs> yes. He will that's what he does. That's a cool, he gets that's a to cool town. Bit. He gets to yeah. town early, goes to the thrift store, finds the leisure shoot and the big and the big crappy tie, yeah, yeah. at least, if he can't find the shirt and pants, but yeah. finds everything. It finds an ensemble for like ten bucks and then wears it to his gig that night. Yeah, he looks like uh, he looks like the I'm, I forget his name, lead singer of the Talking Heads, and that uh, you know, <laughs> oh, yes, a girlfriend yes, he does. which by the way, the Talking Heads are one of the worst fucking bands ever. They're the fucking train of the. By 80s. the way, you don't realize uh, how loaded Doug Stanhope is from like all the fucking TV and like movies he's done. You ever see his house? And he lives in Bisbee, Arizona. He has yeah. his own like fucking compound. Well, it's huge. It's, it's cheap as shit to live yeah, there. Right. First of all, okay. But, I mean, but yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, Stanhope you know, has got gobs of money. We live yeah. in Arkansas, so you, I'm sure it's I could buy cheap. a yeah fucking compound somewhere. Yeah, yeah. dude. If I could, <laughs> I, if I, I, I would love to do that, and I wish that I could. Uh, every time I tell people who, who don't who don't live in arkansas if i connect with you know a friend that lives mm-hmm. somewhere else yeah and uh talk about real estate and then i'll, I'll tell them what i paid for th- this house is 2700 square feet and when uh, i tell them what i paid for this they're like you've got to be fucking kidding oh, me right. yeah because like, yeah. and i'm like it's arkansas man like yeah that's just how this is, is actually man. well this is an older neighborhood here yeah, but yeah. it's not like, it's, it's, it's a nice neighborhood you're literally what four blocks from the school yeah and, and you know like this is like Kind of ha- happening, yeah. Neighborhood, yeah. Really. Nice. There's yeah. stuff going in. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got our own Facebook group, and everyone refers to go. it as the uh, the best neighborhood in Bryant. So, oh boy, yeah, I know. There you go. They keep on trying to invite. Hey, me one to way it. in, one way out. That's true. They That's keep on nice. trying to invite me to a Facebook for the neighborhood, and I just decline every invite. Oh, really? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Look at asshole. I told my neighborhood Facebook group to eat my ass. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, well, you're probably that guy now. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I hate I hate them all. <laughs> yeah, they can they can they can eat my ass. That's yeah. true. You I hate the, those old fuckers. You own your house though. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Though. Exactly. You can tell them all to fuck off. So <laughs> I don't have to mow my yard to eat yeah. my ass. Yeah, the city will though. City will come around and give you one of those code. That's that's. We're gonna do, we're gonna go we're into gonna the weeds here. Yeah, and we we need to wrap this up. But that's just when it. You own your fucking house. You should be able to do whatever. The whatever yeah. the fuck you want I'll to do with your house. I'll put this on my buck slip. Yeah, I've please got, do. I've got a whole come, 45 minutes on I've, this Oh, shit. yeah, I've got shit on this, too. So. Yeah, I got beef, yeah. All right, well, we went a little over, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for listening. Check out our friend's uh, local magazine. They've got a radio show Monday nights at uh, 6 p.m., I believe, and um, local magazine can be found all over Little Rock and different stands, and it's going to tell you what's going on in the city and all that good stuff. They're good friends of ours, so uh, check them out. Give them a little love. Hit them up on Facebook, and also please go... Give us a rating on iTunes or Google Play or Stitcher or TuneIn. We'd, or we'd appreciate we're it. We're literally guys. on yeah. at, we're on all platforms. So whatever you use, uh, give us a rating. We'd really appreciate it. Um, thanks again. Tell a friend. We'll see you next time. Later. Yep. Yeah.